Sister Wives Spoilers Robin Brown maintains low profile amid tragic family death. Most of the family members have spoken out about Garrison Brown's death. Janelle and Cody Brown shared photos and thoughts about their son on social media. Robin has kept quiet on social media. She took a break from it at the height of her backlash. Christine and Mary Brown paid a tribute to Garrison on their respective Instagram pages. Robin doesn't post on Instagram anymore. Rather, she posts on her private Pinterest account. Some fans noticed something strange about Robin's online activity. They accused her of profiting off the family's tragedy. Robin Brown quietly brought back her business to relaunch an item. She sold a silver chain link bracelet that helped spread suicide awareness. One Redditor noticed this item back on Robin's online store. Other fans argued that she was paying tribute to her brother, who always died from suicide. Sister Wives Spoilers Star accused of profiting off family tragedy. The bracelet went viral on Reddit. Most Sister Wives fans feel that Robin Brown was trying to gain profit from the death of a family member. They found the timing of the relaunch of the bracelet and her business. Other fans wondered if the proceeds would benefit a charity in Garrison's name. So she used her brother's suicide as a way to profit? I wonder if any of the proceeds went to any charities, funeral expenses, or just simply their pockets, one fan mused. I don't know, but if they are donating the proceeds to either a mental health charity or animal shelter or something in Garrison's name, then it feels sticky to me. It feels sticky to me to profit off the death of one of their children, another fan noted. This is disgusting. I was wondering last night how Robin could make this about her and here we are. A third user mused. Robin and Cody Brown dealt with their own mental health scare. They were visited by the care unit following Garrison's death. It's unclear whether the vehicles were there to provide support to the family. However, the passing of Garrison Brown is tragic and Cody is receiving hurtful criticism during this difficult time. Fans need to be kinder to Cody Brown as he mourns the loss of his son and deals with intense grief. Janelle is receiving support, but Cody is facing backlash, making an already heartbreaking situation worse. Sister Wives stars Cody and Janelle Brown are going through the worst experience of their lives as they've lost their precious son Garrison Brown and fans appear to be taking sides. Cody's used to criticism, but the shade he's getting right now probably hurts more than anything that he's encountered online in the past. He's still reeling after losing one of his children and Janelle's in pain too. However, fans are giving her so much love. Cody's getting the opposite. However, Sister Wives fans always took Gabe and Garrison's names together because of the magnetic charisma of their bond. Their brotherhood was evident in every step. Hence, more than being brothers, they became each other's best friends. However, it's been days since viewers have been mourning the death of Garrison and aren't able to get over it. Amid all this, Gabe's heart-wrenching account of his brother's tragic death started to surface on the internet. It was beyond something that viewers could handle and it clearly ended up leaving them in tears. Sister Wives Gabe's account of Garrison's death to police leaves fans sobbing. Garrison Brown's death has left a wound on Sister Wives viewers, which would take a lot of time to heal. They still remember the iconic duo of Garrison and Gabe, and nostalgia clearly hits everyone hard, but the latter's account of his brother's tragic death wasn't something that viewers were able to take, and they ended up hysterically sobbing. As per the reports, Gabe initially went upstairs to Garrison's bedroom and knocked on the door, but he knew about the latter's tendency to lock his room and went to the closet to take the keys. But the star kid was in disbelief when he realized that his brother didn't lock the door this time. The first glance at Garrison that Gabe had was that he was simply sitting at the edge of his bed and ended up slumping over. Hence, he believed that the former perhaps fell asleep while he was sitting and not even in the wildest dream, Gabe had imagined that his brother was dead. The Sister Wives star kid then playfully slapped his sibling in the stomach as he wanted to wake him up. But soon he realized that this wasn't the case at all. Gabe noted that Garrison had a gun and there was a wound on his head. He realized that the latter was no more. This report clearly had the raw intensity of a brother's grief who lost his best friend. Hence, fans also couldn't control their tears and cried their hearts out. Sister Wives Gabe was the first one to discover Garrison's lifeless body. Sister Wives star Garrison Brown ended up sending some alarming texts to a bunch of people during his last days. 
This made Janelle wonder what her son was up to. Hence, she decided to have a conversation with him and briefly talked about the matter. However, the matriarch was concerned when Garrison stopped responding to messages and asked her kids to check on their sibling. Gade was the one who decided to volunteer and traveled all the way to Garrison's house. However, he saw a heartbreaking sight which perhaps would affect his entire life. Apparently, even after having three roommates, the star kid was the first one who discovered his sibling's body. One of Garrison's roommates admitted to hearing a pop sound a night prior but he didn't have any intuition of it being a gunshot. On the other hand, the police report revealed that Janelle was the second person who arrived at the location after the star kid informed his family about the tragic loss. Hence, it is evident that the Browns are currently dealing with the hardest phase of their lives as they struggle to accept Garrison's death. However, since Garrison Brown has left this world, many Sister Wives stars have stepped forward to talk about his tragic death. They have been sharing their anecdotes and tributes to the departed soul, along with memorable pictures. Apparently, it was evident that none of them was ready to say goodbye to their beloved person. However, the time had finally come when the Browns collectively had to let Garrison go. The latter was laid to rest at a funeral four days after his heartbreaking death. Sister Wives Browns lay Garrison to rest at funeral four days after his death. Sister Wives fans will never forget March 5 when they received the shocking news of Garrison's demise. He was found dead in his Flagstaff, Arizona house because of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Gade was in disbelief when he saw his brother's lifeless body with a gun and informed his family after dialing 911. While the Browns were paying tribute to Garrison, one of his cousins, Emma Brown, talked about his funeral on Instagram. She shared a carousel of pictures of the departed soul and made some shocking revelations. Apparently, Emma made this post just four days after Garrison's death and claimed that she was dressing up for her brother's funeral. Emma started off by saying, I had to dress up for your funeral today. She then ranted her heart out and said everything that she wished Garrison would have heard before taking his own life. The family member narrated how she doesn't even have a picture in which her cousin was without his contagious smile. Emma admitted that she was struggling with the right words to say and concluded with I'll miss you. Emma remembered all of Sister Wives star kids' goofy dad jokes and their wholesome memories in which the departed soul always cared for her and ensured that she was okay. She further hoped that God was giving her brother peace and concluded her caption with, I love you Robert. Sister Wives, will Garrison Brown's funeral be a part of the show? Garrison Brown has been a part of Sister Wives since 2010. Fans have watched his highs and lows and used to love him a lot. That is why it was devastating to learn about his demise and his decision to take his own life. However, Janelle requested her viewers in her joint statement with Cody to respect the family's privacy and didn't reveal many details about the tragic death of her beloved son. Until more details about Garrison's funeral are still unknown, viewers were wondering if this sad moment would be part of season 19. Apparently, some sources have confirmed that the OG Browns are always filming for the show. Sometimes they have the franchise's cameras around them, or they are simply documenting their lives with their own cameras. Hence, sources don't feel that there is any chance of TLC missing out on Garrison's death in the upcoming season. But for now, it isn't clear how deeply the Browns would share and how much they are willing to share on the screen. Hence, there is a fair chance that viewers would be able to get some glimpses of Garrison's sad funeral. However, fans are still waiting for the network to confirm this. However, since their spiritual unions imploded, relations between sister wives stars Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine Brown, and their 12 kids have been fractured. However, the family was brought together again following the tragic death of Cody and Janelle's son, Garrison Brown. TMZ reported that law enforcement officers were called to Garrison's home in Flagstaff, Arizona, on March 5 after his body was discovered by his younger brother, Gabriel Brown. It's believed that the 25-year-old died by suicide, and no foul play is suspected. Understandably, his family was devastated. After years of feuding, Janelle and Cody reached a truce as they grieved their son's death, and they were united again for Garrison's funeral four days after his death. Cody and Christine's daughter, Mykelty Brown, shared details of the funeral in a video titled Garrison's Send Off and Living On that she posted on her Patreon. 
I was in Flagstaff last week with my husband and all of my family. It was for obvious reasons. My brother passed away, she shared. Mike Kelty said that despite the heartbreak, she tried to see the positive side. I've got to see all of my family together for the first time in years. And I think that ultimately, obviously, Garrison would have been happy by that, Mike Kelty said, adding, I know he will live on in Valhalla with all the stars. Cody never got the chance to reconcile with his son. Sadly, it took Garrison Brown's funeral to bring the family of the late sister wives star together again. His cousin, Emma Brown, posted a heartbreaking tribute to the 25-year-old. I don't even own a picture of you without your contagious smile, she captioned a carousal of photos on Instagram. I don't know if I have the right words to say I'll miss you. I wish I was able to give you a hug and tell you how much you were loved. I'll always cherish the times I got to spend with you. Garrison and Cody Brown's relationship was tumultuous. The father and son became estranged during the pandemic after Robin Brown enforced strict isolation rules that Garrison objected to. There were just so many things in our lives that we did that were rich together, you know, just special experiences. I think and hope that in time we'll just get over this and it'll be safe being back around each other," Cody explained during an on-camera interview via Us Weekly. Sadly, he never had the chance to reconcile with Garrison before his death. Janelle and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him, the patriarch posted on Instagram. Our loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. However, Sister Wives star Janelle Brown laid her son Garrison Brown to rest on Saturday after he died in an apparent suicide. Garrison's cousin Emma Brown shared a lengthy tribute on Instagram in which she shared the news of the funeral service. Dear Robert, I had to dress up for your funeral today, and this is everything I wish you could have heard before I had to say goodbye. We love you, she wrote in part. Emma raved about her late cousin's contagious smile and said she wished she had the right words to say I'll miss you. I wish I was able to give you a hug and tell you how much you were loved. You were human, you had flaws, but never once did I doubt the friendship we had. I'll always cherish the times I got to spend with you," she continued. Emma added that she will miss Garrison's goofy dad jokes, our coffee runs, the dinners we shared. You were a son, a brother, a soldier, and a friend. If there is a God, I hope he's giving you peace. I love you, Robert," she concluded her post. Last week, Janelle Four and her ex-husband, Cody Brown, announced that their son had died at 25 years old. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him, their joint Instagram statement read. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory," they concluded. Since then, Janelle and other family members have been sharing memories of Garrison and honoring his life via social media. Garrison's brother Gabriel Brown reportedly found Garrison dead at his home in Arizona with a gun in his hand. The police report, obtained by TMZ, said Janelle had sent Gabriel to check on Garrison after he sent a concerning text message. I want to hate you for sharing the good times, but I can't. I miss these days," he allegedly wrote. Janelle and Cody broke up in 2022 after being spiritually married since 1993. In addition to Garrison, the former couple share five other children together. Cody has a total of 18 children with four women, but he is currently only in a relationship with his legal wife, Robin Brown. However, less than a week after Garrison Brown passed away at the age of 25, the Sister Wives star was laid to rest with his entire family in attendance. Brown's cousin, Emma, revealed in an Instagram post that his funeral took place on Saturday, March 9. Dear Robert, Emma wrote in a special tribute to Brown, I had to dress up for your funeral today and this is everything I wish you could have heard before I had to say goodbye. Garrison Brown's cousin shared some snapshots of him throughout the years. Emma shared that she doesn't have a picture of him without his contagious smile. I don't know if I have the right words to say I'll miss you," she continued. I wish I was able to give you a hug and tell you how much you were loved. Emma pointed out that Brown was a human who had flaws. However, she never once doubted the friendship she had with him. I'll always cherish the times I got to spend with you," she shared. 
We planned to go on so many backpacking trips, but only made it to one. I'll miss your goofy dad jokes, our coffee runs, the dinners we shared, the times we watched movies, and you always let me put messy face masks all over our faces. Garrison Brown's cousin went on to add that she will always remember him for his caring nature. You always made sure that I had eight, and made sure I knew I could always talk to you. You were a son, a brother, a soldier, and a friend. If there is a God, I hope he's giving you peace. I love you, Robert. Garrison Brown passed away on March 5. Authorities confirmed that he died by an apparent suicide. Garrison Brown's half-sister Mike Kelty says her heart breaks for him. Meanwhile, Garrison Brown's half-sister, Mike Kelty Brown Padron, took to her Instagram account to pay tribute to him. My heart breaks for my brother who is no longer with us, she wrote. But it rejoices knowing he's with his fellow warriors in Valhalla drinking and fighting with Odin. My Kelty continued to write she hopes Garrison Brown is loving his place amongst the stars. Garrison was always the funniest person in the room, she then noted. He was one cool dude and I cry so much because my kinda will never be able to experience his fun presence, but he will live on in all my family's memories. Have fun up with the stars little bro, you're missed. My Kelty also shared a sweet picture of her brother as well as two quotes by Kadik Kavinsky and C.S. Lewis. However, a week after sister wives Janelle and Cody Brown shared their son Garrison had died, Christine Brown shared another heartfelt tribute to the late 25-year-old. The sister wives are continuing to memorialize a core member of their family. Christine Brown, one of Cody Brown's ex-wives from his plural marriages, shared a loving tribute to one of Cody and Janelle Brown's six children, Garrison Brown, who died earlier this month. Every photo with Garrison in it is now infinitely more important than ever before, Christine wrote in a March 11 Instagram post. I am scrambling for just another glimpse of such an incredible man, brother's son. Janelle confirmed Garrison's death on March 5 in a joint statement with her ex Cody. He was the pair's fourth oldest child. The former couple, who also share children Logan, 29, Madison, 28, Hunter, 27, Gabriel, 22, and Savannah, 19, together, have reflected on their loss. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown, Janelle wrote in a March 6 statement. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. The statement continued, His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. And Christine, who also shares six of Cody's 18 children he has with her, Janelle, ex Mary Brown and wife Robin Brown, also initially spoke out about the family's devastating loss on her own social media. She specifically called out Garrison's ability to bond with her 13-year-old daughter, Truly. Garrison was a wonderful, caring brother who understood Truly's need for a hobby and built her a flowerbed. She wrote in a March 7 Instagram post, We'll miss him forever. While most of the sister wives' marriages with Cody have ended in the last few years, Robin is the only one who remains married to him. The women and their children remain close to one another, and they come together while mourning Garrison's death. As Christine said about Janelle in a November Instagram post, She's my sister wife, always. Born May 21, 1994, Logan is the oldest son of Cody Brown and Janelle Brown. He is also the eldest child of 18 in Cody's entire brood. After graduating with a master's degree in business administration from the University of Nevada in 2020, he married Michelle Petty two years later. Aspen is the oldest child of Cody and Christine Brown. She was born on March 14, 1995. Also a University of Nevada alum, Aspen tied the knot with Mitch Thompson in 2018. Born on July 29, 1995, Leon is the only child of Cody and Mary Brown. In 2020, Leon came out as transgender, sharing that they were previously socialized as a girl. I was pretty young and unfortunately I grew up in a context that was incredibly gendered and restrictive, Leon, who also goes by Leo, wrote on Instagram, and here's the thing, I'm finally ready to share my favorite self with the world. And that self is incredibly genderqueer, trans, and unapologetic. Leon married Audrey Kiss in 2020 at a Colorado courthouse wedding. 
the second of Cody and Christine's children, Mykelty was born on June 9, 1996. She married Antonio Tony Padron in 2016 in a wedding ceremony documented on Sister Wives. The couple are parents to daughter Avalon and twin sons Archer and Ace. Janelle gave birth to Madison, her second child with Cody, on November 3, 1995. After studying at Utah State University, Madison married Caleb Brush in 2016. The pair share kids Axel, Evangelin, and Josephine. Janelle and Cody welcomed Hunter, their third child together, on February 9, 1997. Hunter graduated from the United States Air Force Academy in 2020 before studying nursing at Johns Hopkins University. Christine gave birth to her and Cody's third child together on August 7, 1998. Robert Garrison Brown Born October 31, 1998, Garrison was Cody and Janelle's third youngest child together. He died on March 5, 2024 at age 25. David Dayton Preston Brown Dayton is the oldest child of Cody's fourth wife Robin Brown from her past marriage with Preston Jessup. He was adopted into the family in 2015, five years after Robin spiritually married Cody. In 2014, Cody legally divorced his first wife Mary so he could marry Robin and officially adopt Dayton as his son. Gabriel Wynn Brown, nicknamed Gabe, the fifth child of Cody and Janelle was born on October 11, 2001. Wendlin Jingyel Queros, Nee Brown. Cody and Christine welcomed their fourth child on October 15, 2001. Wendling tied the knot with Beatriz Queros in 2023. Aurora Alice Brown. Aurora is the second oldest child of Robin. She was legally adopted by Cody in 2015 after he married Robin the prior year. Ysabel Page Brown. Cody and Christine welcomed their fifth child together on June 13, 2003. Her struggles with scoliosis have been documented on Sister Wives. Brianna Rose Brown Brianna is Robin's third child from her marriage to Preston. After Robin married Cody, Brianna and her older siblings were legally adopted into the family. Savannah Brown Cody and Janelle welcomed their youngest child together on December 7, 2004. The ex is reunited for Savannah's high school graduation in 2023. Truly Grace Brown Born on April 13, 2010, Truly is the youngest child of Cody and Christine. Ariella Mae Brown Born on January 10, 2016, Ariella is the youngest daughter of Cody and Robin. She is also the youngest child of 18 in the entire Brown family. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Sabrina. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.